Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel and welcome back to the Google Ads series. In our last video, we went through the process of setting up a new Google Ads account. If you already have a Google Ads account set up, then you can carry on with this video. But if you do not have one set up, I recommend going back and watching that video and then come back to this one. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that we upload. In today's video, we're going to go through the process of setting up conversion tracking. Starting where we left in the previous video, we have just set up our first smart campaign. We have a few impressions already, a few clicks, but no conversions. Now, if we click on this, it will give us a breakdown of our conversions. If you do not have conversion tracking set up, which you probably won't at this time, there would be a button to say set up conversion tracking. As I have already clicked on this button, it is no longer here. Click on it and it will take you to this page. To get a clear picture of ad performance, set up conversion tracking. Conversion tracking allows you to track visits to key pages on your website, percentage of new visits from ads, time spent on your website, and the number of pages visited per user. If you want to know why we set up conversion tracking, conversion tracking gives you a good understanding of what actions people will take on your website after clicking your ads. By tracking these actions, you can measure the success of your ad campaigns, deliver better experiences for your customers, and see improved results. Before you begin, please make sure that in order to install tracking, you'll need to sign into your web hosting service or commerce platform. If you do not have access to this, that is okay, because you can email it to someone who does. Now let's click on set up free conversion tracking. Google has linked your Google Analytics page and it has learned about your website. Now you need to add pages that you want to track. Google has automatically generated pages based off of the goals set in your Google Analytics account. You are able to accept these by clicking on the blue accept button. In this case, we're gonna click on contact us. You also have the option to add destination goals and you can add the page that you want to track in here. As you can see, we already had contact us and pages per visit set up by Google. So adding another contact us is not necessary. If you're happy with the destinations you have chosen, click on finish. You have now linked your Google Analytics to your Google Ads. According to the goals set up in your Google Analytics, you'll be able to track movements around your website through your Google Ads. But let's take this one step further. The next thing you need to do is go to the settings tab and switch to expert mode. This will allow you to have more control over your Google Ads account. Switch to expert mode, click yes. Now that you have switched to expert mode, you'll need to click on tools and settings and conversions. As you can see, a bunch of conversion actions have pulled through from your Google Analytics account. At the moment, the tracking status says no recent conversions. This will change once a conversion is recorded through the account. What we're going to do now is create a new conversion action. If you click on the blue plus at the top, you get four options. Now you need to select the kind of conversions you want to track. Do you want to track website conversions, such as online sales, link clicks, page views, or signups? You'll click on the first one. If you want to track app installs, you click on the second one. If you would like to track phone calls made from your ads, click there. Or if you would like to import data from Google Analytics or another source, such as Salesforce or offline lead conversions, you can click this last one. In this case, we're going to go with website conversions. Now you're taken to the create an action page. The first option is to select an action you'd like to track and you've given a bunch of categories. In the sales category, you have purchase, add to basket, begin checkout, and subscribe. In the leads category, you have more to choose from. 
we're going to want to track contact us form submissions. So we're going to click on submit lead form. The conversion name is automatically generated, but you can change it to whatever you want so that you can remember it at a later stage. Next, you need to give your conversion a value. If you sell multiple products at different prices and you'd like unique value recorded for each conversion, select use different values for each conversion. If you are tracking leads, signups, or page views, use the same value for each conversion. If you do not want to assign a value to your conversions, you can select do not use a value for this conversion action. This is not recommended. Since we are tracking signups, we will use the same value for each conversion. Now you need to enter the value that should be used for this conversion action. What you would like to do is put in a value that each conversion would count as. If a signup could lead to a sale of 15 pounds, then your conversion value would be 15 pounds for this conversion. If you're not sure on what to put, you can leave it as one and you can change it in the future. Now you need to select how many conversions to count per click or interaction. If your conversion is tracking a purchase and someone purchases five items, you want to count each one of those conversions. So you'd have five conversions. However, if you are tracking signups or leads and someone signs up five times, you only want to track them once. So in this case, we're tracking signups. We're going to click on one and below you can see what is recommended for. Next are the parameters that you need to set for each conversion action. The click through conversion window. Conversions can happen days after a person interacts with your ad. Select the maximum time after an ad interaction that you want to count conversions. This can go all the way up to 90 days. But we're going to leave this as 30 as it is. Or you can select here. Next is the view through conversion window. Select the maximum time after a person views your ad that you want to count a view through conversion. The person may see your ad and not interact with it, then convert later. This is called a view through conversion. Generally, you'd like to keep this as one day, but you have the option to set it up to a 30 day window. Next, you need to select if you want to include these conversions in your conversions column. If you use conversion focused bid strategies, they will optimize for these conversions. If you are selling products and you have a subscription form, you probably don't want to count the subscriptions as conversions. In this case, we do because we need to count all signups as conversions. Next is your attribution model. The attribution model determines how much credit each ad interaction gets for your conversions. To compare attribution models, you can simply click on the model comparison report. However, here are the different options to choose from. Last click gives all credit for the conversion to the last clicked ad. First click gives all credit for the conversion to the first clicked ad. Linear distributes the credit for the conversion equally across all clicks on the path. Time decay gives more credit to the clicks that happen closer to the time of the conversion. Position base gives 40% of the credit to both first and last click and distributes 20% among other clicks. In this case, we're going to go with last click. Next, you can click create and continue. Now you need to set up the tag. You've created a conversion action. Now you need to add the tag to your website. You're given three options to select how to install your tag. You can install the tag yourself. You're given some instructions. You can select which kind of code you, your website uses. Next, we need to look at the global site tag. If you do not have a global site tag installed already on your website, you would need to leave it on the first option and then install this tag between the head tags of every page on your website. You only need to install the global site tag once per account. If your global site tag is already installed on all pages, but comes from another Google product, such as Google Analytics, or from another Google Ads account, select this option. And you just need to insert this piece of code right above the script end tag. If the global site tag on all pages was installed already when you created another conversion action in this Google Ads account, and it's got the number there to confirm, 
you will not need to install it. In this case, we're going to leave it on the first one, just so you can see it. Next is the event snippet. The event snippet works with the global site tag to track actions that should be counted as conversions. Now you need to choose whether to track conversions on a page load or a click. A page load will count a conversion if you have such a thing as a thank you page, which opens once someone has submitted a lead. Then every time it loads, that will count as a conversion. However, if you don't have a thank you page and someone clicks a button, such as submit, then you would choose the click option. And it gives you a different bit of code at the bottom. You would need to copy the snippet below and paste it between the head tags of the page that you'd like to track. So in this case, it would be the contact us page. And then if you're happy with that, you can click next. But before we do that, let's look at the other options. If you are not in charge of your website or you do not have access to the back end of your website, you can email the tag to a webmaster. It will give instructions in the email. You need to choose which kind of tracking method you want once again for the event snippet. And then you can put the email address in here. I want to put my own email address for this purpose. Simply like that. And you can add more by simply adding a comma and then adding in another one. You can then click send and continue. And the last option is to use Google's tag manager. In this case, we're going to go with email the tag and I'm going to email it to myself. I'm going to then click send and continue. And you've set up your submit lead form conversion action. So now the only thing you need to do is add the code to your website. And once it's verified, it will then start tracking conversions. As you can see here on the conversion action page, it's currently unverified. But once it's been added and it's picked up traffic on that page, it will change to no recent conversions or recording conversions. And there you have it. Now you know how to set up a new conversion action and track conversions in Google Ads. Going through this series, we're going to cover a lot of different sections in Google Ads. If there's something specific you want us to go over, please leave it in the comments below and we'll make sure to add it to our series. Make sure you leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people, share it with your friends and subscribe so that you don't miss any more of the series or any other videos that we might upload. But that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.